Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 1. This is end of course practice test 2, I should say. Question number 5. A canoe rental company changes 6 charges, not changes, $6 for the first hour and $5 for each additional hour. Which equation can be used to determine the total cost of renting the canoe for X hours? Now, they, of course, since it's a math test, turn it into slope-intercept form. So I'm just going to write down slope-intercept form really quickly. Y equals MX plus B. Uh, there's two parts to slope-intercept form, of course. There's the slope, and then there's the intercept. Now, the intercept... Uh, this represents our starting point. This is what happens if nothing else occurs. And then the slope, of course, represents change. Something that changes depending on what we do. One occurs anyway. Like if you go to this place and rent a canoe and never even use it, you're still going to be charged $6 because it's $6 for the first hour. Even if you use it for zero hours. As long as you go up and sign up for it, $6. After that, any additional hour that you use it is five more dollars each time. So the part that represents change would be the five dollars per uh, four additional hours. So per hour, that part represents change. So when I rewrite my statement, my change portion is going to be five, and that goes in front of the x. The next part is what represents where we start. Well, we start out at six dollars. That's what we pay. You know, whether we use it for one hour or whether we use it for um, uh, two hours or three hours or whatever. We're always going to pay six dollars in the beginning. Now if I put plus six here on the end, you can see in the first hour that would mean that I'm going to pay eleven dollars. And that's not the case. We're only paying six dollars. So what I need to do is adjust for the fact that this already has something in place for the first five dollars of the six dollars. Now I need to figure out what I need to get to six, which would be how much I'd pay in the first hour, and of course five plus one is 6. So I'm going to go back and get rid of this plus 6 thing and just put the 1 in its spot. So this represents how much it will cost me to rent the canoe no matter how many hours that I rent it, you know, as long as it's over 1, obviously. I mean, if it's just 1, you just put 1 there, but it would work anyway. You can't rent it for negative hours either. Um, if that was more than you're willing to go for, you could come up with sample answers and just plug them in and see if they work. So let me just erase everything here. So I know for one hour, sorry, my nose is a little stopped up, is uh, $6. For two hours, that will be $6 plus five more, or $11. For three hours, it'll be the $6 plus two fives, which is 10, so 10 plus six would be 16. I'm starting to make a little list of data, or a table, I should say, x and y. So I'm just going to plug in my x's and see which give me the y's that I'm looking for. So when I do 5x plus 1, if I do 5 times 1 plus 1, that would be 6. So I plugged in my 1 here and I got 6, just like it says to do on this one. If I plug in 2 plus 1, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 more would give me 11. I plugged in 2, got 11, that checks out. And I do plug in 3 and see what I get. 15 plus 1 will give me 16. And that seems to make a lot of sense. So the 5x plus 1 thing really works. Let's look at another one that doesn't work. Or at least I hope it doesn't work and my answer is wrong. If I did 5x plus 5, if I plugged 1 in, well, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 5 more gives me 10. But I was supposed to plug in 1 and get 6. So you see it doesn't work. 6x minus 1, if I plug in 1 here, I do 6 times 1, which is 6, minus 1 is 5, but when I plug in 1, I'm supposed to get 6, so it doesn't work. Same thing with the last one, you plug in 1 and get 11, and obviously that would be the same problem as before when we tried to set it up. So the reality is, just set it up so you show where you start and how much you change. Make slight adjustments to make sure. You might even want to use the table as a way to check yourself, if, even if you don't need it in the beginning. So that's it. Good luck.